as long as it goes in an arc, the string will stay taut. That has to do with the physics. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. I've got my yo-yo bag, and in my yo-yo bag I have a free-spinning, non-returning yo-yo. Okay, hear that? Okay, that's the sound of precision ball bearings. So here, spit a yo-yo. I'm going to do orbit the Earth. There we go. And it's orbiting slowly, but it's spinning fast. And then I'm going to do around the moon. Look at that. And then I'm going to do the tether assist. Now normally we'd call that man on the trapeze, but it won't catch. And so it just bounces off the string. And, and it's kind of like the tether technology we use for satellites and things. So I call that the tether assist. And let's see if I can get it to come back now. Ah, there we go. And because I'm in space and I can, I get to name these yo-yo tricks as I invent them. So I call this Shoot the Planets. And I'm spending more time training to fly the robotic arm so I can snag this little spacecraft coming up here in a week or so called drag. And I haven't been spending as much time as I should working on my yo-yo training. So I've been ignoring my yo-yo training. So it, it may take a couple of times to get this trick correct. And it just shows that I've got misplaced priorities. There we go. Oh, so far so good. Orbit the Earth. And now, so I'm keeping it moving in an arc. There's two. There's three. Oh, ho, how about that? Let's see if I can get it to come back. Oh, come on. Okay, so now it's spinning really fast. We're going around. Oh, I like this. I'm going to do shoot the shoot the planets again. So there's that, there's that, and there's that. There. That was a good one. That's a keeper. Okay, now I call this the asteroid because it's basically uncontrolled. The string is limp and it's just bouncing back and forth. So this trick is the asteroid. You have to be careful because if it comes back in an uncontrolled way, it can end up hitting you in the head. And I call that the Jeep bonk. Another thing about yo-yos. There's a lot of physics involved in this, a lot of physics. Exchange of angular momentum with the yo-yo spinning, angular momentum of the yo-yo moving in an arc as a system, and then the linear momentum of it going in and out of the string. And then of course there's energy expenditure in this because you've got bearings and friction and drag with the air around it, and drag with the air is kind of small. Um, so you have all of these neat pieces of physics working on this. And it's good to understand the physics of your recreational activity. So if, if, if you like doing yo-yos, you should read up about how they work, how the physics works. And it will benefit you in several ways. One way it will benefit you is you'll be able to have some delightful conversations. You can impress people by talking about the physics of your yo-yo. And if you're a guy, just think you can impress the gals by talking about the physics of how your yo-yo works. And of course, there's going to be a class of gals that won't be interested in that. You won't impress them. But then those are the kind you don't want to be around. And then if you're a gal and you're yo-yo, again, learn the physics. And when you talk about the physics of how the yo-yo works, in addition to doing your yo-yo tricks, you can impress the guys. And of course, there's going to be some guys that won't be impressed because they don't like physics. And you don't want to hang around those kind of guys anyway. But there's even a more important aspect of this. If you learn the physics of how the yo-yo works, and you can talk about that, that means you've learned a certain amount of physics. And when you learn a technical subject like physics, guess what? It helps you get a good job. And then, of course, when you have a good job, you can afford to buy these fancy yo-yos, and, and you can use your 
your uh, spare time then to do even more work with your yo-yos. So here we go. Let's see if we can do it again. So orbit the Earth. Orbit the Moon. Orbit the Moon again. There's the tether assist. Okay. Tether assist. Shoot the planets and come back. Hot dog, look at that. Again, I'm going to try shoot the planets again. Oh, that's a string jam. Oh man, and it hurts your finger. I hate it when that happens. Let's see if I can get this. One of the neat things about video is that you can edit out all these things when you, when you goon it up, you know? And then you can make it look like you're a real yo-yo champion.